Alright. Phase in. D5 logo bump. <laughs> Welcome to uh, our version of a rooster crow. Good morning. Good morning, indeed. Yeah, happy Friday to you. You are out of control. I know. Sit on, sit on, sit on your hands. Right. Sit on your hands. You're not allowed. To Ready? Touch I'm gonna drop it from right here. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> So, oh, all my dice came unorganized. Break my table. Let's do yeah, a, we saw uh, that let's do a countdown like it's there. we're New York on New Year's Eve. What? A giant ball on New, that falls on New oh. Year's Eve is what it looked like. I got you. <laughs> I mean, we're talking a ton of Waiting people. Waiting for the ball down. to draw. Oh, <laughs> As so many teenage boys can My leg! <laughs> I wonder what kind of plywood you suggest build a stage out of. We're doing a production. <laughs> we're talking the nine, the, the nine lords are leaping we're talking a ton of men coming down at one time <laughs> <laughs> what the frick <laughs> it's uh the 12 days of christmas but phone pranks and so like uh, like crank yankers uh, <laughs> it, well, it's, it wasn't crank yankers that did it no but, but it's like it's, it. yeah it's similar and so like they call up different places and uh like a guy for uh, four gold rings calls up a uh, jeweler's and he's like, yeah, I had a question. Five gold uh, rings. If I, uh, if I put a ring in a freezer, will it smash open? And they're like, what? And he's like, yeah, if I put a, if I put a, a ring in a freezer, is it going to do anything to it? Uh, well, what's it made out of? Uh, uh, just regular ring. Uh, we're doing a production now at the church, 12 Days of Christmas, and they want me to do five cold rings. <laughs> so I just want to know if I'm putting it in there. It's smash open. <laughs> right on. The, the guy's like, I think it's five gold rings. He's like, no, no, it's five cold rings. I've got it right here. Five cold rings. <laughs> the same thing. All right. Hey, 200 for an <laughs> RPG. <laughs> Welcome, everyone, to D5 Quest. We're glad to have you with us. You know, even though we may not mention it ever again. No. We'll never mention how grateful we are to people who listen. Welcome, children. It's, it's a musical. Most true. Were you painting in the dark? Oh my gosh. Anyway, we're happy, we're happy to have you guys here. We're uh, excited. We're going to do. We're running another 200-word RPG. This one is called Exodus. Brought to us by none other than. Uh, well, first of all, it's called Exodus, a game of discovery for two to six players. My bad. 2017 RPG. <laughs> uh, brought, and to, brought to us by... Oh! Jen. Whoa. Jen... You guys are getting in your own ways. <laughs> Jen Martin. HTTP colon backslash backslash... H, H just dropped his hundred face... His hundred sided die onto his foot. Not my foot! It hit the bone of my ankle! <laughs> That's what you get was playing with a pure metal dice. Oh my gosh, that hurt. So, while well, he's seeking medical advice, so <laughs> that's www.jankcast.com. Um, ah, all right. All right. We'll do, we'll do this. We'll do this. Just mute. Just there you go. All right. They're all so muted. So we got, we got everybody muted. There we go. Um, it's <laughs> weird, it keeps getting muted. How <laughs> dare you? Oh, no, <laughs> he unmuted himself. <laughs> All uh, right, you are a group of humans sent to an empty alien ship to investigate. The aliens are gone with no obvious cause. Pick a specialty for your character, i.e., linguistics, physics, sociology, etc., and an area of the ship, i.e., engineering, medical, cafeteria, gym etc. Don't overlap with other characters. There is no leader. Take turns describing areas of the ship. When it's your turn, answer the other player's questions. Be obvious in your answers. If you don't know, say that. Other players can make suggestions, but you get final say. 
When you're ready, name one thing about the room that pertains to the disappearance and write it down on a note card. Move to the next player. When it's not your turn, ask about the room, i.e. sight, smell, sound, etc. Think about what you've heard about other rooms and tie them together. You may suggest things, but the player whose turn it is gets final say. Once all players have gone, look at the facts you've gathered about the disappearance. Do they fit into an order? Do they tell a story? Give each player a chance to offer their theory, but don't identify any as true or right. I forgot to grab my notebook. Oh my, oh gosh. my gosh, you guys. <laughs> uh, uh, I can't unmute you guys. That's all you. Yeah, you all muted yourselves. Oh, well, mine's supposed to stay on mute. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, H, uh, looks like you have something to say. <laughs> no, I stopped raising my hand. Uh, think of Batman poop. Uh, looks like you have something to say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, speak up. Don't be shy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, I heard that. Uh, uh, wait, wrong game. <laughs> <laughs> huh? All right. I so, need something to write with. Oh. Are we just going to pull up um, a Google yeah, Doc? Yeah, we just pull up a file. Oh, yeah. Oh, we can do that. No! That way we can all see what's going on with each other's minds. Ow! Okay, so does anybody have... I, I thought I'd be maybe like a computer engineer in the game. Ooh. Good for you. Or Jim, as some people pronounce it. I pronounce it Gaim. Good. Good. You do Boing. it. You do it right. Ha! You follow the same left. rule as, as those who say Zed. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with Zed? Got him. <laughs> <laughs> Zed? Yeah. Canadian Z. Oh. Well, well worldly Z. Z. World, world, world Z. <laughs> Okay, I was going to be a... Uh, Ron, I was not gonna... Led Zeppelin, I tell you that much. <laughs> it's also not Led Zed. Plin. Zed Plin. <laughs> I was going to be the doctor. You're going to be a doctor, huh? Mm-hmm. Look at you. You're fantastic. <laughs> Who, who's sending out... Uh, there we go. Yeah, I just sent it out. Do you know what I'm going to be? Awesome. You know what I'm going to be? Huh? Huh? You guys know what I'm going to be? Uh, no, I'm not really sure we're ready for it yet, though. The janitor. Excellent. Janitor. Janitor. Oh my gosh, why does a janitor have to be? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> janitor Lopez. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> All, right. All right. I'm not typing because I've got too much stuff on the desk. All right, so, so far we have Reed as equals Doctor, H as equals Yanator. We have Jakers as equals G-Y-M. <laughs> oh, he's our gym leader. Gotcha. <laughs> oh, dude, yes. Okay, like actually, I'm going to be the physical fitness instructor for the whole... <laughs> To keep everybody in shape. Yes, Sergeant. I'm I'm as good I'm as good as a rookie. Uh, uh, what is it? Uh, red shirt in Star Trek. Just <laughs> not red. Uh, <laughs> Security. What are the ones that, that always just get killed? All the instances that always get killed. Anyway. Yeah, but they have a no, color. No name Anyways. number one. Red shirts. Yeah, they're all red shirts. I don't have a name. You guys never asked my name. My oh, name. You're talking- Oh, you're talking about Guy, yeah, from, uh, <laughs> from Galaxy Quest. Yeah. All right, calm down, Guy. Like, <laughs> you have a name. Do I? Do I? Anyway, I think it's funny how fitness is uh, apparently okay to spell that way in our Google Doc. <laughs> I, <know. dog. laughs> I wanted that too. Anyway, that is it. interesting, isn't it? Jacob, um, what are you going to be? I'll be the pilot. And it's just me here. You All know, right, where are you, where are you guys at? Okay. Uh, John's going to so be an I think, engineer. Um, I think I think how I'd like to see it done um, is uh, 
Um, almost kind of like betrayal where we all split up into different rooms. We all kind of start together yes. and start to s- start exploring. Um, from the airlock, we com- all went separate ways. Yeah. We're communicating over uh, radio is kind of, is kind of what I imagine. Right. So what does it smell like in there? Are, are we having our watches? Yeah. Are we have our watches synchronized and we, cause we're doing the stupid thing of not being together. Uh huh. In a ship where everything's disappeared. That's a great idea. Um, I am Jim, the gym rat. <laughs> they call me Kime. <laughs> um, and depending on how we do with time, we might have room for like two separate rooms, but let's just start with one. Hmm. Um, I think that I'm going to be, I'm in the cloning room. <laughs> so the medical lab? No. No. Oh, gross. No. <laughs> um, I think I'm going to be in, uh, with the, uh, cryostasis chamber. That is not just right off the med lab. I, I don't we know. all can't be a medical man. Jeez. Okay. You know what? No, no, you're right. You're right. I'll be in the bathroom. Okay. Crying. <laughs> He's in the sewage ducks. <laughs> he poured the short straw on that one. <laughs> Porta pori. Nothing like that. Porta pori. I'm gonna be in the repair 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 bay is where I'm at. La porta pori. <laughs> La porta pori. I love porta porti. La porta pati. <laughs> All right, I'm going to be in every single room that you guys are in. Oh, I like it. Are you on Holly. mission? <laughs> yeah, I'm just a janitor. I'm just in the room. I love it. No, he's we have he's to already ask questions. there. I'm I love just the there idea. cleaning up a mess. Here's what I love. I love the idea that we're all talking like there's a critical issue going on, like crazy, and you're just got Sweet headphones on and smiling. Like yeah. it's not even a problem. Like whatever. Like that's our the, problem is not your problem. That's the that's the plan. That's why I'm in every room. Oh my God. <laughs> you're, you're just waxing the floor. <laughs> <laughs> ah, it's going critical. It's going critical. And you're just back there. I got my headphones on. <laughs> Mariachi music. All right, and I'm going to be. I brought I brought a couple books, so I didn't have to come be creative. Uh, <laughs> these are all fantasy books, though, not sci-fi. Okay, so we're we're each so taking take- a turn. Yeah, just describing what we see. Yeah, interesting. Okay, I'm Gafflin. I guess we could just keep our regular names. Yeah. Yep. My name's Scruffy. <laughs> McScruffins. Doc McScruffins. Scruff McScruffins. <laughs> <laughs> Come to him when you got trouble. So you, uh, <laughs> you guys make it to the ship and uh, Doc McScruffins uh, says, Come let the visit begin. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, different day, same people. <laughs> Come. Um. Uh, all right, everybody, roll a d twenty. Let's see uh, who kicks this uh, this ting off. Highest, highest goes first. Highest goes first. Highest That's goes a four first. for John. Lowest goes first. <laughs> I don't like that. I got twenty, and I didn't want to go first. <laughs> Thirteen. Guess who's going first? <laughs> I got a five. Gosh dang it. I didn't want to go first. I, I wanted to see what you guys came up with. <laughs> All right. I, I got to look at this again real fast. Let's see. So, Tell us how the med lab is. Because, let's see. When it's your turn, answer the other player's question. Okay, describe the area of the ship. And then you guys ask me stuff about it. Okay. So describe going from the airlock. Yeah. To where you're at, Jakers in the um, med lab. Right. Right. All right. So as we 
get off of our uh, through the airlock and we enter into the derelict ship uh, we all stand there for a second and while we're trying to discuss uh, you know maybe sticking together everybody starts wandering in their own direction so I figure okay I guess I'll just go go find myself a room uh, to try and figure out what had happened and I start heading down a hall and I hear you know uh, warbles coming out of a room warbles warbles <laughs> Where did he come from? I heard it. I heard it. I hear warbling. Warble, warble. Definitely not an alien in here, warble. Um, so these small little faint sounds draw me to a room. Kind of open it up. And it seems to possibly be a med bay of sorts. I can tell that there's slabs of tables and next to them, and, and what looked like cushiony beds, next to them seems to be some form of monitors. Um, and then along the walls, there's there's uh, behind secured doors. What kind, of tech, what kind of technology do they have in there? Uh, do you care to? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh my gosh. What kind of a cut of gold do you have in the bed bed? Why for the logic? Why for the logic? What kind of a cut of gold do you have in the bed bed? Anyways, uh. Alright, you guys should stop whispering in one another's ears and actually speak into the speaker. Uh, What kind of technology? Uh, well, it seems to be electronic. Hey, oh, electronic, huh? Okay, well, uh, I can work with that, I guess. Well, I mean, <laughs> they're in space, so... <laughs> uh, Stone what, club. <laughs> what I try to describe, what's weird is on the, in the, uh, the medical tables, towards the middle, there's a hole in it uh, where the cushions are. It seems to just be like an open hole out towards the floor. So maybe they had a body part that fits through that hole or something to make uh, laying on a bed more comfortable. I don't know. It's hard to tell. Uh, so. <laughs> <laughs> Jacob, you're terrible. Uh, <laughs> so. Jacob just wrote something. That- <laughs> um, but I can tell there's a, there is a an office that's close to it that has a viewing room looking into it. And yeah, there's, it a, <laughs> there's a... There's a... guys. I didn't want to go first. <laughs> um, it does seem to be a record-keeping area. Um, and there even seems to be some files on the, on the table. And in um, that room, you see me sweeping. <laughs> and I glance over. Were you just sleeping with the lights on? <laughs> <laughs> and, and H is rubbing down the tables. Not H. What's Doc it? McScruffins. Oh, yeah, Doc McScruffins. Uh, uh, hey, guy. Oh, my gosh. Let's not do that the whole time. I'm going to go crazy. <laughs> what? Uh, <laughs> can you? So you, you say there's a record, a record place. Obviously, it's not Latin, but can you make out any uh, any of the words? Or if you examine that a little bit more, can you uh, figure out what? Can you glean any information from the records? It's not in the language that I know, um, but it's definitely clear that it's written in pattern of blocks and stuff. So, like, uh, it is very clear that if I was to think about. Uh, if somebody was keeping procedural notes on things and and all the records seem to be of the same type. So like every consistent paper going through has the same format of the paper before it. So I would guess that somewhere it must be people's names and maybe their data, medical data, maybe, 
or it could be, you know. Uh, is there is there anything on the um, on the medical tables, like the exam tables? Uh, no, only on one. There just seems to be up near the mid middle part towards the top on one of them. There's only two tables in there, and on one of them towards the middle top seems to be like an orangish stain. Not very, then, not, not much bigger than your hand. So, and then you hear, <laughs> and I start scrubbing that stain. Hey, <laughs> 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 uh, hey, guy, and guy, uh, what does it smell like in there? Antiseptic. Antiseptic. Okay. Anthrax. Right. <clears throat> Good to know. So you, you think something happened there in the med bay? Uh, I don't know. Uh, Hard to tell. Nothing seems broken or out of place, actually. Are there, there, are there any tools lying around or anything? Uh, there's next to one of the tables, there seems to be a side table pulled out from it. And on it seems to be some tools that I don't I don't know what they are. But they... Uh, oh, they... Uh, whew, whew. Keeping a straight face with you guys. Oh. Uh, <clears throat> they seem to, because the they seem to be like where you'd grab it, but I'm not sure where what direction makes the tool work on them and stuff. So I'd I'd be hesitant to touch one of them. Um, what's the uh, temperature? I uh, uh, it's a little. I would say it's just a little cooler than normal, but not by much. Just enough to make you kind of feel chill on your skin but not freezing uh, other than the the um, spot on one of the exam tables that orange spot does anything look out of place as far as i can tell everything seems to be put away where it is and i, I i'll open some cupboards and inside of some cupboards there seems to be some uh uh different tubes and vials and, and bottles of things but nothing seems like it's been knocked over or thrown around everything seems upright none of the none of the glass or doors or anything seem broken okay so okay so just regular then just a regular med bay apparently but it looks like everything was left as is like as if something was here and now isn't like like there does seem to be stuff out but it's not like knocked over there's nothing broken even in the uh in the what seems to be the office room Nothing seems to be in disarray. It seems to be just like half records were just out and you were looking at them. Oh, almost uh, Roanoke Island style. Yeah. So uh, can you say anything that looks uh, um, one thing in particular or anything <laughs> that uh, pertains to the disappearance? I have an orange spot. Well, and it is odd that... Um, <clears throat> or death. This seems a bit odd that uh, everything seems as uh, though it should be almost like they walk away. This darn orange spot won't come off. <laughs> Somebody get the turpentine. <laughs> uh, Doc McScruffin says that the orange spot won't come off. Interesting. That uh, is pretty interesting, huh? Pretty interesting that the orange spot won't come off. Uh, is it... Uh, Anything on your cloth at all? Clean as a kitten. <laughs> and I know his kittens are very clean. That's very interesting. Uh, <clears throat> yeah. Okay. And all the computers are powered on in here. Like, everything's running. Do you... Uh, uh, the computers, do they look uh, similar to how our computers would be? Keyboards and mouse. No. There's this uh, at the office. There seems to be what might be a keyboard setup. There, there's keys of sorts that have symbols on them. And then there's this jelly thing next to it. That's kind of a bluish glimmery color. And it's about a mound shape of my fist. Do you touch it? I don't want to touch it. Do you want me to? Do <laughs> uh, when he when he sprays it, the screen starts like rapidly 
flipping through things. Uh, so, like like flickering, like an interference, or like it's like as if it was the scrolling. Scroll. Yeah, as if it was scrolling rapidly. <laughs> and it... <laughs> Doc, Doc, <laughs> clean that off, man. Yeah. I'm on it. I grab a I grab a, a trash bag out of the cart and just you know like stick my hand in it inside it out like I'm picking up a piece of dog poop. <laughs> well, as you grab it after them pants. The moment that he the moment that he touched it, the screen stopped scrolling. <laughs> oh, there we go. And then he, you throw it into the trash. Yes, yeah, so I just I just like it's like on my cart, the trash on my cart, just like tie it up and throw it in there. <laughs> So the, when he when he dropped it in the trash, the screen starts scrolling again. <laughs> um, it's so an organic we're controller. Not, we're not serious, apparently, about finding out what happened. We're red dwarfing this thing, apparently. <laughs> All right, let's roll d twenties. For who goes next? I got a ten. Matt seven. Says eight. You guys add your modifiers into that? Oh, oh yeah, modifier, sorry. That makes it a one. Yeah, mine makes it a, a four. Oof, crap. I got a zero. <laughs> Wait, you guys rolling dice? <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, All Jacob. Right. So, uh, um, I'm, uh, this, I see a little hatch in the floor here. I think I'm going to go down through the hatch. <laughs> With, uh... Uh, hey, hey, Steel Mason Mike, I, I, how does it uh, how does it smell where you're at? Why are you so concerned about smells? <laughs> it seems it seems like uh, this is just uh, just a hall, but there's a, a little lever pops up off this uh, circle. I start uh, unscrewing it. <laughs> hey, 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 hey! You might not want to do that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, Doc, how's it going? I just keep on doing it. And like this, uh, uh, the cylindrical uh, tube basically screws all the way up and it's big enough for you to walk in. And uh, on the opposite side, there's a ladder. And it's very clearly a manhole. And I go down. It's dark. Um, it's pretty dark down here. Uh, Doc, do you have a flashlight or something on that fancy car to yours? <laughs> Toss him a flashlight. <laughs> Uh, it hits me in the head. <coughs> in here. Oh, next time I turn it on before you throw it, okay? So I <laughs> pick up the flashlight uh, and you know, turn it on. Push the button; it doesn't turn on. Uh, hit it a couple of times, and it kind of flickers on. Oh my gosh! I think I got it, okay? I'm surprised we're alive in space. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so, kind of going through. I thought this might have been uh, like a uh, another hallway, but it seems uh, like it's not as tall for somebody to stand up in. Maybe these uh, alien guys are a little bit shorter than us, huh? And, uh, I climb down and climb down into the hole. It's are pooping. Oh, it's well, it's surprisingly clean. It's surprisingly clean. Um, That's what's off about it. And, and so we start walking down the this 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 tube like tunnel that's uh, crawl space in height. And uh, every so often, then we look up and there's uh, you know another smaller hole, uh, maybe uh, <laughs> uh, six or seven inches in diameter. Uh, in centimeters, that's probably twelve centimeters diameter drawn. Um, and, and, uh, so, um, and, and we kind of shine the light up through those and, and the light, um, uh, uh, just kind of goes up into, uh, just another room. Um, and there's one that, uh, that we look up through and, uh, and we see, uh, John's character waving down. <laughs> hey, uh... What the? Uh, what I'm, is I'm it in up a there? bathroom up here. Oh, a bathroom? How do you know it's a bathroom? 
Told you it's for pooping. Because there's a magazine and some uh, uh, brown paper up here. It looks for a wipe and one some tukas. You think uh, you think that tukas is? Tukas is. Tukas I think that I think the tukas is going over top of the hole that you guys are crawling through right now. Hi. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, this uh, this apparently is a uh, uh, sewer type or um, lavatory tunnel. We we go down through um, and we kind of follow it all the way to the end. And there's a uh, um, uh, uh, an opening that would go out to the void of of space. Um, is is kind of what what we'd imagine. Um, Airlock chamber. Thank you, thank you. But it is interesting that that uh, the the floor almost seems to be made of a of a type of um, a concrete or uh, grout, almost a very fine grout. But but there's no it, it's 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 very clean. It's very clean. Uh, even the the vacuum of space couldn't make it this clean. So it's very interesting. It's very interesting. Mm. That's the only thing notable is that the uh, super clean tunnel. Yeah. Interesting. Super clean lavatory tunnel. Lavatory pipe. Uh, pull out a mop and start mopping. What's it? Uh, it looks pretty clean. Not clean enough. <laughs> Not clean enough for American standards. Can you see the end? <laughs> yeah. So we, uh, so we made it. Uh, we made it to. Uh, we, yeah, we made it to the uh, to the end here, and it looks like there's uh, an airlock that they'd open up. I don't like being down here right now, but it looks like there's maybe an airlock for uh, for when uh, the, the pipe gets full and they gotta empty it out to the void of space. They don't recycle. That uh, doesn't uh, doesn't appear to be that way. <laughs> Reduce, reuse, right? Clearly, these, uh, they're not part of the uh, intergalactic coalition of uh, <laughs> clean space. They clearly don't follow code 29B of the sanitation rule, yes. F. I was thinking the exact same thing, 29B. You can tell me that again. <laughs> <laughs> um, Send Tim Hockaloo down to the floor. <laughs> Gotta have something to mop up. <laughs> Doesn't seem to have been in use anytime recently. And, uh, and that's the surprising thing is, uh, uh, you said uh, you were in a room where it looks like there were some aliens in that room, but uh, but this particular place doesn't look like this was in use for at all. It doesn't look like this has been used a single time. Uh -huh. Must have been the escape route with this clean. <laughs> Not funny, ha ha. Or did somebody make it that clean and get rid of evidence? Hmm. Maybe that's uh, maybe that's maybe that's what that uh, is happening, huh? I uh, yeah, I don't like being down there. I don't want that airlock to open it up while we're down here. Doc, you coming up? Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. <laughs> go go back over uh, to the yeah. I guess like. You guys want me to look at anything else while I'm down here or smelling? Or does else? it seem to lead up other places? So yeah, there's 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 spots that lead up in like these six or seven inch diameter holes. Uh-huh. And uh John was looking down one of them. Right. And we waved at him. But just, you know, it kind of looks like it would lead throughout the ship. All right. Is this the only entrance of an exit that you found? Yeah. Interesting. Okay. Well, there we go. Okay. Anybody else? Okay. <clears throat> nope. Well, I guess roll we got to roll it. for the next one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Rolling. I got a two. I got a nine. <laughs> All right, H. All right. What about Reed? Uh, he is indisposed. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm like looking there, like, and I see you in the background. I thought it was Reed. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. No, that's uh, me. <laughs> um, all right. Maybe he's the one we saw. <laughs> Mr. Mr. Scruffy. McScruffy. I, uh, 
I, I find I, I'm opening doors looking for the janitor's closet. <laughs> and I find the janitor's closet. Nah. -uh. I did. I found it. Found it. Open it up. Typical janitor's closet. However, being the expert janitor that I am, I start going through all of the things in the closet to make sure that it has everything that I need. Excellent. And what's strange is there's no ammonia. No ammonia. Can't find, can't find the ammonia. But there seems to be what you would think is good. Can you, can you uh, tell and recognize what all the other cleaning agents are? So they all are their their MSDS on them is is all <laughs> written. It's all written in a different language. But by opening the cap, I do have a trained trained sense of smell to know exactly what it is and what it does. <laughs> you just you just end up just opening jugs and <laughs> yeah. that's not a one. that's not a ammonia. <laughs> exactly. I know ammonia. That's not it. <laughs> okay. Um, so so does it look so does it look organized? Yeah. Is it dis is it in disrepair disregulated? Or is it totally, you know... It, it, it is fairly organized. Um, the mop is not hung up like it should be, but it's, it's other than that, pretty neat. Does the mop get thrown in there, or just set? Uh, so it was, it was leaned up against the wall, still wet. Wow. Amateur janitor bench. Uh-huh, not even in the tub the that it's supposed to go. Yeah. Huh. Um, so does it... But everything else kind of looks pretty uh, pretty well organized yeah pretty standard um, the mop bucket itself is horribly filthy by the way this now made me think of I'm just gonna throw this out there you've now made a valid point to me of like think about the people who have to be throughout like the Star Trek Enterprise vacuuming the floors all the time <laughs> how many people are walking you never, on stuff? you never think about it but there's <laughs> always gotta be someone <laughs> There are no cleaning floors. <laughs> Why did you join Starfleet? I just want to clean I'm a stuff. <laughs> I just wanted to be in space, and you know, janitor was the one thing I didn't have to go to school for. Yeah, I had to do a whole lot for it. I knew that I could get into space. <laughs> and it's all right. It's all the right world. the grades, too. So, like, you're getting paid as much as anybody else. <laughs> it's got to be done by somebody. And I figured, hey, if I can go, if I can see the, if I can see the galaxies and the universe by getting it, by doing this, sure, let's do it. Let's All right. Any other questions about the janitor's closet? Everybody's running around the ship because see anything no that uh, might be missing? Uh, other just other the, than uh, cleaner. Other than the ammonia, nothing yeah. that I can see that be missing. But so there's a very clear spot for. Uh, very have a uh, very strong cleaner to go. Yes. What does the you said the mop bucket is disgustingly filthy. What? Yeah, and it smells like refuse. Interesting. Oh, so that's why the tunnel is so clean. Um, what is the mop moist with? Can you tell? Um, it looks to be just like mop water. Like I don't. It looks normal. Would you mind getting in there and making sure? <laughs> Did you want to touch the blue stuff in your room? I, I, I had throw, to anyways. <laughs> I throw on my latex gloves and start start poking the mop. <laughs> mm, yeah. Seems to be water. <clears throat> hey, uh, Doc, uh, would you mind uh, being a little bit more thorough? I'm, I'm confused about where this uh, strong ammonia cleaner could have gone. Maybe, uh, maybe you taste it a little bit. Huh? I know your taste is very strong. Oh my gosh! Yeah, lick the ammonia spot. <laughs> How I, I, just, I, I rub my finger over the over where it should be on the shelf and just give it a lick. Mm, by the taste of this, it might be. A, mm, I, don't, I don't know. It's not on the ship anymore. <laughs> <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> One hound over here. <laughs> Um. Okay. Uh, I don't know how much how, we need to know. Wait, how, how big is the How big is the the closet? Uh, like five by five. 
So pretty, pretty typical. Yeah. Pretty typical for a human janitor closet. Mm. I take the mop bucket and I dump it into the into the sink in there and start washing it out. It does okay. So does does the uh, does the janitor closet look out of place based off of everything else that we've seen? Like the actual room itself. The it doesn't seem out of place. No, but the only the, the only things that are out of place is that ammonia is gone, and there's the nasty mop not mop bucket water. Okay. Do you see anything? orange around there on a handle in the mop pail anything go make a perception check <laughs> maybe i should all right but i'm gonna do it evens evens i see something odds i don't all right it's a 10 sure i see some of that orange goop on the mop bucket hmm is it a, is it a fair amount uh like it's enough, so you know how like when you look at something that's like kind of like just spilled over it, not like a big spill, just kind of dripped on it. Okay, so not very much. Okay. Um. Uh. Hey, hey, Doc. Doc, this is uh, Steel Mason. You're. Uh, do you uh, do you have any ammonia on your person that you brought from our ship? What kind of what kind of do you think I am, son? <laughs> the best, only the best kind. I pull out my mini bottle of ammonia and start spraying the orange spot. What happened? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> Again, I can't wipe it off, just like in the med bay. I couldn't wipe it off the table. So it doesn't have any sort of chemical reaction? Uh-uh. Okay. <laughs> so no, no, chemo, no chemical reaction? Okay. Well, I guess that's kind of weird, but that's all right. You have anything? You uh, you have anything stronger than ammonia? Uh, like what Ajax? Are that, so uh, some of that cop medicine you. Uh, well, you, there, there's also you could use some Windex on it too. <laughs> All right, I'll spray it with some water, and it wipes right off. <laughs> Interesting. <clears throat> okay. Uh, no further questions. No. Great, that's great. Okay, next one. Who's, who's, who's left? Is it just me? Who's left going to the room? You and Reed. You and Reed. <clears throat> All right. Oh, All right. I got a 20 on that one. Oh, okay. I got a 17, so. I mean. Sweet. All right, so we got uh, what John is Jacob Jingleheimer Schmidt. Okay, perfect. So, after leaving the airlock, walking uh, uh, away from everybody else down uh, one of the tunnels, uh, stop by in one of the rooms and wave to Jacob and uh, who's the other one? Doc McStuffin down inside the uh, pipe. Uh, Doc McStuffin and Steel Mason Mike. Like I give them a quick wave and let them know where they're at as I continue on, and I, I make my way. It seems to be. Uh, uh, fairly decent sized room but there's four holes in the back wall it's kind of uh, how do I want to say uh, triangular where e everything basically opens up to these four holes and they seem to be some sort of uh, escape pods uh, they're all there and uh, I don't don't really see anything else the lights are on everything's here uh, yeah what do you guys want to know what, what does it smell like? I uh, open up my visor off the helmet, take a quick sniff, and close it up. And it smells like ammonia. Cleaner. <laughs> yeah, that's ammonia. Yeah, that's ammonia. It's always been there. <laughs> I could have told you that. If you don't look over your shoulder fast enough, it's always just right there. <laughs> it's like, there he is, he's like wiping the wall, and he's like, yep, that's ammonia. <laughs> that's exactly what that is. I didn't even go to fancy school. Well, I figured out what happened. 
Doc McScruffins killed them all. <laughs> <laughs> Do any of you guys remember having a janitor? <laughs> no. It's like we only have four people in the crew. Yeah. Somebody's the imposter. Hold on. Uh, Apparently there's eight of us. So, a, a guy, guy, guy what, what the, what's my real name, huh? Right. I told you that, didn't I? What is that? Uh, what is the state of uh, of the systems around you? Uh, look around the room. Uh, floor, walls, ceiling. Everything is uh, clean. Uh, don't see anything per se. We go to the escape pods and I see a couple of orange drops on the far left pod. Uh, nothing inside really. Everything's off inside. How, how many pods are there? There's four. And how big with some water and wipe it off? <laughs> how big? Uh, how big is the ship? Would you guys say? John, how, it's your turn. How big would you say the entire ship is? I'd say the entire ship is probably uh, a few hundred feet long. Say that again. A few hundred feet long. Oh, it's a light cruiser. <laughs> yeah, I, I'd say how something big? like that. And you'd say that uh, you said all four uh, escape pods were there. Yes. How many seats are in each escape pod? There's three seats in each escape pod. You know, they, they kind of got that that hole in the where the vertical seat meets the horizontal seat. There's a little hole right in the middle there, so must be for a tail. Or you know, other things. Or a good time. <laughs> you guys. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, <laughs> then, That's all I you, really notice. Can you turn on any of the systems? Can you are any of the computer systems running or anything like that? Are any of there any of the latches for any of the seats connected or there the the rooms the uh, seat pods are all blacked out until I try entering one. And as soon as my head or my hand passes uh, into the escape pod, uh, everything comes on. It, it, you know, kind of like turning on a light in the room. Yeah. Uh, except for all the buttons and controls and everything else, uh, monitors and things all power on. Find anything like that. Wait, what, it, what are what's your profession? Uh, engineer. I'm an engineer. Oh, engineer. Okay, yeah. Yeah, so I'm yeah. the right person. Much better than the gym expert trying to the cipher. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, odds, even odds, odds. Uh, I managed to find some stuff out. Evens, I don't. No, oh, even good too. So, I uh, managed to turn on the computer and hook it up to my. Uh, wrist-mounted computer, and I can start translating the language. Oh, awesome. Yeah, I like that. Okay. okay. So, uh, let's see who's left. Reed. Reed. And Reed's going to end up on the command deck. Well, um, real quick so, before we leave the escape pods. Yeah. I think because it's a light cruiser <laughs> and there's four pods, you know, a max of 12 people escaping, that this is some sort of freighter is what I'm gathering. Uh, um, you know, because if I, I don't know what the law is on, on their planet, on their system where they come from, but uh, but I'd imagine that they probably want, um, uh, you know, no child left behind. <laughs> well, whatever, whatever it was that it, it either escaped or just left the ship, I think it was bleeding, and I think I feel like that's what the orange spots are. Well, the orange spot that doesn't come up with anything but water, and the only other place where we found water was on a mop. That's true. Uh, you said the mop bucket was dirty. Was there water in there, or was it just like the, the grime? Nasty, nasty water. It's water. 
I, yeah, it was nasty, nasty water. Mm. Uh, what kind of reaction did did it have with the water? Did it have a chemical reaction with the water, or just uh, like it just wiped right up? It just it, it like let go of the surface it was on. Because if these aliens, I wonder if like water's like would be a weakness. But if it's such a weakness, why have it so readily available in a janitor's closet? Well, ammonia didn't pick it. I mean, yeah, didn't pick it up. Unless there's something that came in and took them out. Somebody, there was a fire, wasn't there? Why? And all the and all the sprinklers turned on. Why is the ammonia missing? Well, I leave no trace. Yeah, <laughs> but ammonia doesn't pick up the blood Very, unless it picks up the other people's blood. Very, uh, very considerate, these aliens. Uh-huh. Even if the whole crew is gone, we want to make sure the next people that come here feel welcome and safe in a clean environment. <laughs> right. Well, all right. I guess then we're just left with the command deck. Yeah, Reed, go ahead and roll. Yeah, roll <laughs> see if you go to the command Rolling deck. against who? Himself. I got 19. Excellent. Oh, looks <laughs> like your deck. <laughs> looks like your turn. Okay. Well, I'll, 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 guys, I got a, I'm in a big room. There's a, just a bunch. I don't know. It's kind of circular, old, like an oval, if you will, type room. I'm already in there wiping down the console. Uh, the janitor's over here. He's wiping down the console. I think it looks like a console. Uh, there's a, there's this a couple of different stations. Wiping. What? What's the screens doing while he's wiping it down? There aren't any screens that I can see. It looks looks to be as if uh, I don't know. Want me to touch one of these? Uh, go to one of these workstations here and see what happens when I push a button. Yeah, if, yeah. If you could do that, okay, watching well, uh, watching you talk and like picturing <laughs> your your face and your glasses and like just the whole in the command center is incredible right now. <laughs> <laughs> you want me to? Well, I'm, gonna, uh, I'm gonna walk on over here. Here we go. Okay, uh, touch the button. And, uh, oh, it looks like looks like I got a screen that just kind of pops up. You know, just whoosh, kind of thing just pops up when you push a button. It's like some sort of light mechanism. I can kind of put my hand through it. So is there any uh, is there any gel like rolls anywhere? Gel like rolls. I, I don't see any gel like rolls, but uh, try. Let me see if I can figure out what this little button does. <laughs> whoop, whoop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, hold on. Push it again. Oh, there it goes. Okay. Looks like. Uh, oh, this this must be something to do with the life support. <laughs> I think. How can you tell that? It says something about life support on there. You can read it? Yeah. I'm fluent in all languages. <laughs> John translated everything in oh, our language. What, what's, the la- what's this language? I don't know. <laughs> what is uh, I just, I, can, I, didn't say, I can read everything. It I seems to have some, some Zorbak and Lotan roots. <laughs> some, something like that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. Anyway, let me go over to this other station. It's got some sort of blinking lights on it. Let me see what happens. A little lever doohickey here. This might oh my be gosh. something. Yes, just start. <laughs> hey, I'm going to put my helmet on. <laughs> All um, right, tell, tell me if this does anything where you're at. Here we go. I'm ready, ready for my weapon. It's a little jam. I got it going, though. Did anything in your area? Did anything happen? No, uh, nothing is. Uh, nothing's uh, going on over here. I start, uh... Well, heck, I think I just locked the door behind me. <laughs> uh, I, love, I love the fact that, like, I know I've said, like, watching your screen, and, like, when you're just, like, sitting there, like, looking back and forth between your computer screen, and then, like, you're like, I'm gonna go over here and I was watch. It's like, it, it, it doesn't sound like you're doing anything, I see. It seems to, like, you're just standing right there saying that you're doing stuff. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm gonna go over here and push. You can't. Me. You can't see. You can't see my hands, but that's okay. I'm pushing. Uh, <laughs> let me let me push a button over here. <laughs> Is that better for y'all? You, you okay with that? He's actually moving around. <laughs> I find a button that says "Dump on it" and push it. 
Oh, looks like we got a button that says dump on it. The janitor's gonna be pushing here. What's your name? Oh yeah, McScruffy. Uh, mm -hmm. Mr. McScruffy's gonna push the button. Okay. Anything else? Uh, I mean, anything else you want to know about this room? No. So, uh, as uh, that when you when you moved that one lever, um, something came out of the wall from where I was at. And, oh, I should say so. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he is. Um. Uh, something, something's coming up to me real fast here, huh? When you saw, uh, uh, uh. and like I look at my arm and I see that there was a uh, like a scratch on my arm from when I was climbing out of the, the manhole, and uh, this uh, this thing comes up and basically just just wraps the wound, and then like goes back into the wall. Oh, uh, oh yeah. So just so it's not, this must be a part of the medical area where just like. Helps you. It, it recognizes that you get you're hurt, so it's just probably. Well, you hit a, that. Well, you hit a bunch of buttons. I started floating off of the floor. <laughs> uh, and that happened too. You didn't say anything. Uh, let me hit another button. See if I can fix that. Um, <laughs> let's see what this. What, let's see what this baby does. Um, oh, <laughs> it's not, it looks like it's just a two. It's all, it's all it does. Never mind. Uh, oh, there's backspace too. Oh, it's a keyboard. Ah, that's, that's what we got here. We'll see. Uh, there you go. Yeah, I'm liking that one. I just typed out to some. I just typed out and sent a message. Hopefully, said how is space? Oh, oh my gosh. They're responding. What the? Jazz, what's, that, what's that happening? Jazz, I, I, I typed in a message and said, I said, how is space life? And someone replied, it's fine. Uh, 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 oh boy. Escape pods ready to jettison. Jet 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 jettison. Yes. Oh, it's going jettison. Where is there any? Uh, uh, oh, someone's asking, "Where's the ammonia?" That was me. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> like, where did you come from again? I thought you was cleaning. I thought you was cleaning the windshield there. Jeez, oh, don't sneak up on me like that. Ammonia has been sound, sound, sounded out. Ammonia has been ex, ex, expelled. How'd you, to, oh, expelled to the void. How'd you pass uh, medical school? Again, I'm surprised we're alive in the void of space. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know. I just, uh, I, I've done real well on my medical exams. I can memorize things real well. He was a vet before. He was a doc. <laughs> hey, Mr. Janitor, would you please stop? No, <laughs> Get out of the way here. Yeah, we'll make, I'm making first contact. <laughs> <laughs> uh, for those listening in at home, we uh, we are typing things back and forth between the Google Docs. <laughs> uh, anyway, anything else about this? Apparently, I don't know what's going on. Something with the ammonia. I can't smell any ammonia on me. Poor janitor here is like thinking, oh, I'm all special. Oh, hey, here's another red button on here. Oh, let me see what so called button does. Atomic core set to overload in 10 minutes. <laughs> oh, crap. I mean, uh, shoot, dog. Uh, we better get going. Let me see if I can unlock the door here before us, Mr. Uh, Mr. Does, Shruffy. Uh, does it say anything else on the uh, on the screen? No, it's. Uh, oh, wait. On the screen says, uh, thank you for your ship. The Lizdarians will now leave your own. Your our ship is that we leave to go home. Who are Liz Darians? <laughs> <laughs> they got our ship. Hey, uh, oh, it looks like this here radar is showing another little ship. Wait. Oh, uh, hey, guys, I can see someone waving at me. <laughs> it looks a lot like, looks a lot like the ship we came in on. Wait a second. Uh, jokes laughing too hard. Uh, let's see. Uh, 
I think uh, I think what I can do is uh, oh, where's the button? Oh my gosh! I'm gonna try and teleport us onto the ship. Uh, everyone, <laughs> hold still. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you have a hole in your seats for a tail? Oh boy! You know what? Don't answer that. Nobody, no, uh, don't answer that, Janitor. <laughs> here we go. Okay, three, two, three, two, one. Uh, I'm gonna just see if I can figure this out. You all hold still now. You, is everyone hold still? Is we uh, oh, holding still? Boy. Okay. All right. I'm going to start with Mr. Janitor. Okay, and three, two, one, good luck. <laughs> Did you just launch me out into space? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what happened to you. Where'd you go? All right, all right. Well, he opens up a door. I get sucked into space, <laughs> and I start, I start spraying my bottles in a way towards our ship <laughs> to, to kind of propel me that way. Uh, so it looks like he's on his way over to the ship now, guys. <laughs> you guys don't even know that he's like out of the <laughs> he's like out of the ship. It's like teleporting. <laughs> All right. So uh so let's uh let's try to get this together. Yeah. Do a recap. <laughs> well, uh so the last thing that it's supposed to do, everybody's supposed to go through and uh say what they think happened. So in the med lab, we have uh, orange stain um, that we later found out was able to come off with water. In the uh, porta potty, uh, it's super clean, super clean poo tunnel. Uh, janitor closet, the ammonia is missing. Uh, in the escape pods room, uh, we found more orange, uh, orange stuff there. And then, uh, what was the weird thing in the command deck? Uh, the weird thing in the command deck. Did we even have anything? <laughs> there was like a bunch of weird buttons, but um, teleportation, something like that. But okay. <laughs> I don't think we ever really came up with anything, did we? <laughs> so I um, decided anything. I think I think what happened is uh, um, the cargo that this ship is carrying <clears throat> uh, is is of an extremely valuable nature. And there is a... Uh, we didn't even look at the cargo hold. Well, I understand that. I understand that. I'm just telling you what I think. <laughs> um, but I think because it's of, uh, of a valuable nature, um, they don't want it falling into the wrong hands or being taken by the crew. And so the owners of said cargo um, have programmed into this ship um, a failsafe if the ship determines that there is any um any sort of uh foul player or uh, espionage or anything that that is going to indicate that the crew is taking the uh the cargo that it will basically attack the crew um but leave it in a uh in a clean manner is what i think uh, <clears throat> i would have said something similar but i believe that this ship is carrying a princess um, Princess Zeldon. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> nah, uh, what I surmise as the gym professional that I am, uh, is that there was probably this, this race is dealing with or knows of some life form that is so abhorrent that they have created procedures on their ship to do a full ship cleanse that will completely dis decontaminate everything uh including themselves which they're willing to sacrifice just to make sure that they don't spread whatever it is that they seem to know about that we don't uh. and uh whatever it was was still highly resistant to that and still tried to escape from it and the cleansing procedure whatever left over was this orange what whatever it was that was maybe the residue of that creature, but it seems to be gone or in hiding somewhere else in the ship. But their procedures out of the wall. What? <laughs> yeah. So, I think what happened is they stole our ship. 
Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> there. Yeah, we lost we lost our ship. It was a hoax. They uh, <laughs> the only reason we couldn't find them is because they were waiting for all of us to get into the ship, and then they just teleported onto ours. Sent me the message saying, "Hey, thanks, goodbye." Pirates. And then I, and then I set the atomic core to overload. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it says atomic core overload. That's I, just, I just said, "Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, I had fun. I had fun with that." John, can we have John? Fun? What did you think? I, I think that uh, they lost power to their ship, and that's why they couldn't use the escape pods because there's no power in those, so they couldn't launch them. And so they were waiting around for another ship to show up, and they did steal our ship. Uh, the orange dots was there to confuse us, and because it couldn't be cleaned up with water, is because it was wax, is what I'm thinking. And that's why, uh, yeah, they lured us away from our ship, snuck on through the the porta potty hole that you found there. <laughs> they snuck out across their ship and into ours. Yeah, I think, I think that. Just like so that. the aliens that were on the ship got invaded by another alien. Like they, they had one that they were in their med lab. They were trying to do kind of an experiment on. I think the orange stuff was that alien's blood, but that alien just wiped out everything in that ship, threw them all down in the poop chute and flushed them all out of space and then cleaned the whole ship. But it still had drops of blood every other places kind of careless. And then when we showed up, that ship, since that ship had already lost power and been destroyed after all the wreckage that it caused, it took ours and took off. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, so what would uh, would everybody uh, rate this as? Uh, I, I just want to say next time, I don't think we should all go over to the ship. That's right. Right. Yeah. What kind of crazy procedures do we have, you know? <laughs> well, guys, it looks like something crazy's happened here. We heard a distress speaker, now nothing's here. Uh, well, why, did, why, did here the doctor, why did the doctor go to the command, <laughs> to the command deck and not to the med bay? <laughs> Um, I still think that the I still think that the janitor was uh, maybe the alien. <laughs> I did have that, I had that sne- sneaky suspicion. <laughs> I, anyway, so. idea, I love the idea that you've imprinted the, the janitor's imprinted memories in us to make us believe that he's been a lifelong. <laughs> <laughs> and we're just like, oh yeah, Doc's here. <laughs> we're all hallucinating Doc at once. If we all would have just actually asked, "Hey, is Doc with you right now?" <laughs> all of us, yeah. <laughs> he's like he's like Holly from uh, Red Dwarf. <laughs> <laughs> so I, uh, John, what do you give it? This one, uh, three point five out of uh, yeah, three point five out of five. Uh, would you play it again? Would recommend? Uh, yeah, I would. I like that, that little list that you had there. Ultimate interior rooms. Yeah. Read that, that helped. Um, I would give this a. I would give this, you know, three soft boiled eggs, um, a hard boiled egg, and one over easy egg. And the reason for it is because I would have thought I want. I want to tell them a little bit more with the dice action. I know it's a role playing game, but. I want a little bit more dice action than what we had. I think there could have been some stuff with that. I liked it all together. I still like being able to describe it, but I felt like it was too vague in yeah. what we were trying to do and for the whole thing. So overall, there you go. What did I say? Three, three soft boiled eggs, one hard boiled, and one open. One, uh, one over easy. <laughs> I'd, one give, over easy. Uh, I'd give this two space docks and a empty black hole. Mm, um, really? Because while it, it leaves, I think as a narrative tool, it's an interesting jumping off point. But the problem is, is everything is so subjective. Um, I think we, I think we tried to feed off of your to begin, like you. Well, that's kind of it, right? Is like I, I was thinking about that the whole way through, of like 
unless one of us, because it really was up to any of us, could have completely diverted it into what we wanted it to be, you know? And even asking questions of the other people, the problem is, is it becomes a big group think issue because it's so subjective on what actually happened. You know, there, is, there was no hard set, at least we're gonna find this out, um, which is fine in and of itself too, if we always wanted it to be a mystery. But on the on the level of a completion of feeling like it was complete, because I mean honestly, at the end, did anybody feel uh, completed? Did anybody feel did. like we ended the game? Like you I know, did. we were yeah. all left to, left to die. <laughs> <laughs> the time when Cora was about to explode, I think I, and, uh, the janitor was outside. See, but <laughs> right, way towards the other space. Again, it's just like that too. You got to choose that that happened because you were the last one. That's true. That's true. And, and so it's just kind of like as a narrative tool, I could see it's a cool jumping off point. But it, then, it, and just like what you said, I think it's too big. So that's why it's an empty black hole, at least. Uh, right, but, uh, like, so empty black uh, hole. Two spaceports and an empty black hole. Perfect. Because it had structure, but then it it didn't. <laughs> uh, H. Uh, I would I would give it thirteen paint rollers out of twenty. Fun. You can put a lot of coats on with that. Put a lot of coats on, but uh, still, still some touch still ups. Still sure. but, but at the end of the day, someone's still gonna complain it's the wrong color. <laughs> well said. All right, what about what about you, Jacob? And yeah, you know, yeah, you know, I'm I'm probably gonna give this two and a half, uh, two and a half out of three bologna sandwiches. Um, yeah, no, I, and like, don't. Okay, all right, I know what you're thinking, but stop. Um, the, the reason why is because I feel like had this mechanic been introduced at a very young age, I feel like we would have been a lot more over, like all over it and stuff. Um, I do think it's a great, uh, base place to start. Um, and so I think, I think that there's a lot to, to build off of that. So I do like the mechanic would play it again would play it again um because i think that we, this is it doesn't have to be in in outer space or it could be just about anywhere but i think this would be a lot of fun um a good way to kind of explore like a, a, a fantasy town or an inn or whatever so to go to jungle area i think with a lot of these though it, it leads to the same thing that short if we played it a few times we would actually you know maybe start to feel like we have a good handle on it yeah but you know, boy, the things I want to say right now. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> I could do, I could do one of those. Uh, never mind. All right, we'll finish. So, uh, so yeah, uh, thanks for listening <laughs> in to uh, to this uh, this one. Exodus, a game of discovery for two to six players. Jen Martin, thanks again. Dude, Reward RPG, thanks to you guys. Uh, yeah, Ironscape uh, for the audio. Thank you, Christy, for the visual. If you do visual for this, and thank you to you guys, the fans, for tuning in. We'll see you next time. Austin, guys. Austin. One, two, three. Hell Hydra. Uh, uh, okay. Hell Hydra. Hell <laughs> Hydra. D five. D five.